So we need to download the brand new and correct version. Um, you'll see that these update numbers change on a regular basis because we're constantly upgrading this alpha project to get it towards a beta release. So I've clicked and it's downloading from the Google Code site, which is an open source platform for us to distribute the code. Click here. I'm using Google Chrome. And I'm just going to grab this folder to ensure that I cleanly extract it to the desktop, and that'll take a minute. It's only 64 megabytes, but there are a lot of tiny files, and that seems to take quite a long time. And while that's going on, I'll describe what we're going to do. So we're unzipping, we're following, uh, downloading and installing the UPI plugin. We've done step 1A, which is download it. Now we're on step B, unzipping it. And next we'll do this unblocking step for these two files, which uh, for most systems, um, your security settings apply blocking to these two files. You need to unblock them manually. We're back. I let that extraction finish offline because it took a about 90 seconds and we're following the instructions to unblock the upi.dll and .pdb files. So we go into our 3 d Max folder that we've just extracted and these are found in bin assemblies and just right click on these one at a time properties, click unblock, click apply, say OK upi dll or pdb same thing click on block apply ok and this is a critical step some users have had trouble with it so I just go ahead and double check to make sure they're unblocked cancel double check the pdb properties unblocked ok back to the 3d studio max folder now the next steps are to put these in their proper places. So we have to merge these into the existing 3D Studio Max folders. And there is a path name for that folder, which we call UPI Download DL. And uh, uh, sorry, that's for the folder that we just downloaded, which is 3D Studio Max over here. And we're going to put that into the Max path that exists from your installation of, um, of 3D Studio Max onto your Windows system. Let's get started. Pretty simple process. Begin with putting the bin assemblies that we just um, unblocked into their proper place. So I'm going to open a new window here to get to the proper Max folder, which is located on your hard drive under Program Files, Autodesk, 3D Studio Max 2013. We're going to mer merge the contents of the bin folder, assemblies folder with the one that's in our extracted package here. So we go from bin and assemblies and grab the UPI DL and the UPI PDB. And I like to make sure I keep a clean copy of my install package. So I'm going to just do a hold control as I drag to copy and paste those in. So we're all set there. Let's get back out to our 3D Studio Max folder because our next step is to place this plugins folder into our 3D Studio Max documents folder. Now that's a little more complicated to find on your default Windows system. And the easiest way to get there is to, on uh, Windows Vista and 7, which I'm using here, is to grab everything up to the word app data from downloading and install step 1D3A copy that and let's open a new Windows folder here. I need to go to the users drive and to my administrator account and just click on it, put a forward slash and paste the rest of that path into there and you can see it's taken me to the correct place. 
you could type these in one by one if you need to, but this app data folder is invisible, so it's a little tricky to get to this spot. And then into that, we see there is no existing folder called plugins. All we're going to do is drag the plugins folder we downloaded. I'm just going to show you what it contains, this folder called MGL Tools Packages. I'm going to drag this entire plugins folder in context. And again, I'm going to do a copy and paste and that's going to place it into our proper user folder for 3D Studio Max. Install process, which, to is, which is to install the Max Plus plugins. So as you can see, the underscore one should be the first thing right here. Uh, I forgot to drag those in, so let's grab both the Max Plus files that we downloaded earlier and just drag them into the program files Autodesk 3D Studio Max 2013 folder same place that the uh, bin folder is that we dragged into earlier and that should be all we need to do. We're all set to go with the installation and as soon as that's finished uh, copying and pasting over I'll start 3D Studio Max and I'll show you how to set up some simple buttons to get started and then do a very basic tutorial to show you how PDB uh, sorry, how EPMV and AutoPack work, or just to confirm they work, and then we've already got some online tutorials to show you how to use the basics of those two packages.